that the Crescent City is in the top 10 cities in the U.S. for bike commuting. Now joining us live this morning is Patty Riddlebarger with why this Wednesday you should bike to work. This is going to be so cool. You know, a lot of times you forget that New Orleans is an awesome place to, you know, not only walk around and just be in, but biking to work as well. So talk about what's going on. Absolutely. So Wednesday, April 12th is Bike to Work Day presented by Entergy. And this is our sixth year. Every year it gets bigger and better. And we're hoping to have a, a really nice crowd show up and ride their bikes to work. Very cool. And Patty, it's not just, you know, people are going to be doing it on their own. You can register. And there's also some fun yeah. little kind of little party going Absolutely. on. As well. Absolutely. So um, if you don't want to ride alone and you want to try it with a group of people, there will be uh, bike trains departing from different locations across the parish. They're, they'll be departing between 7 and 7.30, riding to a central location. The meetup point is at Lafayette Square in the CBD. There'll be a little celebration, some refreshments, coffee, uh, fruit, donuts, and then everyone can ride on and have, and have a really great day at work. So we're hoping that everyone gets out and tries it. It's free. Uh, to register, you go to bikeeasy.org. Very cool. And after, you know, you have a little little social gathering and, you know, get some food and, and, and uh, some drinks. It's also, you know, a great workout as well. Talk Absolutely. about the kind of the way biking throughout the city has kind of evolved over the years here in New Orleans. So uh, be before I do that, I do want to mention also that one thing that's new this year is the Bike Commute Challenge. So in, in addition to Bike to Work Day, we're kicking off a month long challenge where we're encouraging people everywhere across the city to ride. Um, they can sign up in groups so you can sign up as a team. A lot of uh, employers are encouraging their employees to sign up as teams and log the miles that you ride between April 12th to uh, May 12th and there's a little competition to see which team logs the most miles in the city. So that's something that's brand new for this year. But in terms of the growth of, of cycling in the city, it really has uh, been something that's developed over the past 10 years since Katrina. Uh, before Katrina, the city had uh, only 11 miles of bike lanes. Now we have over 100. In fact, I think we're at 115 miles. And, and that's a really remarkable story that was made possible because of a unique partnership between Entergy Corporation, the Louisiana Public Health Institute and the city of New Orleans uh, that all came together to make uh, this growth in infrastructure that has resulted in uh, places where we have bike lanes. There's been almost a 300 percent increase in bike ridership and all of that, you know, we think contributes to to quality of life. It contributes to health. It contributes to reduced emissions, reduced traffic congestion all the way around. It's a positive thing. Very positive to say the least. It's awesome to hear how much of a growth that that has happened, you know, over the past 11 years since Katrina. Yeah, well, absolutely. Patty, thanks so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. It's going to be a great event. And of course, for more information, on NOLA Bike to Work Day. 